So I helped my brother launch a high altitude balloon from southwest Florida and in this video I'm going to show you how I calculated the diameter of the balloon uh, when it was at an altitude of 97,000 feet uh, using the data from the data loggers that were on board the capsule and based on the image that I got with my telescope while filming the balloon going up. So the first thing I need to do is calculate the true field of view uh, through the eyepiece of my telescope. And here I went to this website and you can see, um, you, you can uh, actually calculate it. Here you can select in this pull down menu your telescope and then here the eyepiece. So I use my Zoomal Z12 and my Mead 18 millimeter eyepiece. Um, then it spits out the, uh, the uh, true field of view here and you can see it's 43.2 arc minutes. So I'm going to use that information to calculate the diameter of the balloon at that height. Here is a screenshot of uh, the image I got in the video through my telescope and this image is taken exactly at 928 a.m. where the altitude was around 97,000 feet so what I've done is in NanoCAD I drew a circle around the true field of view and then a circle around the balloon itself so what I have now is the relative size of the balloon with respect to the, to the field of view but what is the size of the field of view? here? I drew, uh, you know, with some exaggerated angles, uh, what's happening. The, the telescope would be down here, and this is the altitude of the balloon, assuming, of course, it's directly above us. Uh, I won't uh, calculate it based on the angle that we had. This would be a worst-case scenario. So the altitude is 97,000. Uh, the total angle is uh, 0 0.72 degrees, so this angle is 0 0.36 degrees. So we're going to use that. Uh, to calculate the size of the image here from here to here. So that would be 97,000 feet multiplied by the tangent of 0 0.36 degrees. Uh, then if I multiply that by 2 I get the size of the full image that I see on my telescope. Here I've input the information into the uh, data log spreadsheet and uh, I calculated the size of the field of view using the information. Here you can see it's uh, uh, 1,218 feet across so the diameter of the image you see through the eyepiece is this size now uh, with the relative size of the balloon with respect to the full field of view I can calculate its diameter here we're back at the image that I put in CAD uh, from the videos frame that I extracted and uh, you can see the sizes of the balloons I, I outlined them with uh, circles and you can see uh, the radius of this circle is 12.99, this one is 546. So what is the size of the uh, balloon then? Uh, it would be the 1,218 feet, which is the size of this circle, uh, multiplied by 12.9971 and divided by 546.252. So th the size of the balloon here would be around 29 feet. Now that's assuming the that the balloon was directly above us. Uh, and, and that it was at 97,000 feet away from us. It, the balloon was actually at an angle, so that means that it was actually farther away from us than I'm assuming right now. So that would uh, make the balloon size probably over 30 feet in diameter. And this is before it burst. That is at 97,000 feet. The balloon burst at 115,000 feet, so it kept expanding all the way up to that point. The only thing is, um, after it reached 100,000 feet, I zoomed in the phone into the image and you can't see the black outline uh, that you have here. So there's nothing to compare the size of the balloon to. Uh, th there's no field of view that you can uh, measure at this point. So this is the only video that I could do this on.